bam! How cool is that? How cool is that? Ooh! There's Tati. What a day. What a day. Oh, there's the doorbell. What's this? What is that? Let's open it at the start of this video. Because I'm feeling chaotic energy for this. <laughs> Let's be honest. Eh! What on earth? Primed for Melissa. I don't have a brown. Don't look at my boobs. What? How does Smashbox even know who I am? Who is this from? What? This is such an exciting day. What? Seriously, how does Smashbox even know who I am? Oh, I'll use one of them today. What one? The first one you sniff, I'll use. Oh, illuminate, good choice. Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. Or if it's your first time here, hello, my name is Melissa or Missa. This is Potato. Potato, come here, come here, come and say hello. Today I am started off by recreating this gorgeous look by Leanne Audrey MUA. She's a friend, she's a sausage, she is horribly talented and to be honest I don't like her because she's really beautiful but if I look past that look at her isn't she amazing and she did this incredible look I'm joking by the way I like her <laughs> she did this incredible look and I was like I want to copy that and then I got I'm um, a birthday present today in the post and in it was face lace and I was like oh my goodness I've wanted to try this forever I'm going to try it so I added it to the look now, on completion of the look, Leanne's is a bit more cool toned purple. Mine's a bit gone a bit more warm toned purple, but the bones of her look is there. Go and check her out and we'll link all of her socials down below. She is the absolute tits and you need to go and check her out. So thank you, Leanne, for letting me steal your look. I did tell her I was going to do it. And uh, yeah, we're going to add some gems, the face lace. Thank you so much to my other sausage for sending it to me as well as... Number one, got more snacks, treats for the cats. Kirsten, you're amazing. I will warn you, my mood is very sporadic and I don't know why in today's video. So if you want to fanny around with me, do this makeup look, see the cats, hear me sing, put some cool face lace on. Look how cool that is. Oh my goodness. Then just keep on watching. Come and say hello, people only watch me for you. One black cat, two black cats. I need to get ten more black cats because I love them. Ow. Now we have to get serious and put makeup on. Not even drinking alcohol right now. I'm drinking this drink that I got in a glossy box at like six months ago and it's been in the back of my fridge. It's nice though. Haha. <laughs> Hi, pooty cat. I taught a top. So, like we discussed, I'm stealing the base look completely from Leanne. The rest of it, which is only the addition of the gems and the wiggle, is my addition. But this is all Leanne's look. So, once again, <laughs> go and check her out. We're going to start off with Blackberry, not a black eyeshadow. Also, her look was a bit more like. Um, pointy. But I've decided to keep mine rounded because I feel like it suits my eye shape a little better. When I copy other people's makeup, I always have to kind of adjust it for my own face. And you see now having used the Surge palette from Blend Bunny and using the deep purple tone in that blackberry just seems like completely crubbish compared to it because like, I feel like I'm not getting that much depth from this, but I'm not going to sit and poo-poo it because this is still my baby. Wow, this already looks beautiful, so I'll just give it a wee shimmy shimmy around with a fluffier brush. Right, then. Ah, oh, this is so annoying. I don't have enough room. XL Pro, my baby, and I took Wasted. And you really don't see much difference between these two, actually, surprisingly. Or at least I didn't when I put them on. But we go with it. I need to worry up and I also need to go and buy cat litter. Bish bash bosh, stick that on. And then I take my P. Louise brush that I adore. So what is it? The number 120. And I think, I don't know, I think I dipped into fruity or grape. Let's go with fruity. Yeah, we'll go with fruity. 
although Leanne's was a bit more like kind of cool toned blurple which I was informed is indigo. I'm still just gonna pop this on. It's very pigmented. Very pigmented. Then I took this pointier brush and what did I take? <laughs> I don't know. I think it was Tahiti because I remember thinking oh it's got like a crust on it. But at this stage I'm just building up eyeshadow. Doesn't need to blend. Doesn't need to look good. I'm not like Tia. She puts it on and immediately it's blended. I put it on in stages and I don't understand how she does it. I think she's a wizard. Uh, that's all I've got to say about that. don't even like her. It's fine, you don't have to like your sister. Trust me, when I did this on the other eye I was like, oh, <laughs> that looks so bad, call the police. And then I took, I'm thinking, lilac. She's got a lot of other shades sitting on top of it. Bit of lilac on another fat brush. <laughs> that looks good. And then I took my wee postals of this shade. Now Leanne showed me specifically step by step what she used and I know she used the pastels. <laughs> but apart from that, again when I recreate people's looks I just do what my body tells me to do at the time. You know, so I'll put that out there. That's already way more than is on that side. We're gonna grab Blaze. Stick it at the front ear. Good thing about these kind of things, you don't even need to blend the, the purples into the yellows that well because it just gets covered up. So just be messy. But this red, she's pigmented. Then I took Sundown right above it. Pop that on. Skibbity be pop. Just like that. Then I took Mango. Skidoosh. Right on there, see? I know, we all come to my channel to learn the technical terms of things. Then I took yellow, pop that up in about amongst around, and then just because I'm being lazy I'm picking up Keen from the XL Pro, it's the bright yellow, just on that same brush. But I'm already holding this awkwardly in my left hand so I'm just going to keep on doing that. Now how bad? Does this look shocking? Absolutely shocking. But we're gonna fix it. I'm gonna take my Z palette, that sausage, threw on the floor. You would have seen it in a previous video. But my ABH Noir survived. And I, I'm gonna put this on the outer corner. And I didn't start with black because I didn't want black to overtake my purple. So that's why I went in with purple for once. Also I thought Melissa try not starting a look with black and see if you don't you know burst into a puff of smoke and I didn't so. And a fluffy brush to blend it into blackberry. This looks so bad. <laughs> so bad right now. Right done. I'm gonna go back through blend all of this again same shades same order and we'll reconvene. Eee. Okay, and I'm gonna watch a YouTube video while I'm doing it. What one will I watch? Let me tell you. Mm, five biggest tsunami waves in history. That looks interesting. Now, I am really struggling to blend on this side. I'm not sure why. I feel like maybe my skin is just like, no, I don't want you to put eyeshadow on. So, you know what, fair game to it, but it's going to have to deal right now. I'm going to use Pillow Talk, which I don't know if I've ever really used before. 
for like the front half and actually does a pretty good job of setting this P. Louise crisp finish primer in place. Mattes on my eye, like sitting on my lid, just do not work because I've got like such textured eyelids. Gosh, that looks beautiful, doesn't it, potato? And then I take a little bit more of this purple. Just use it like this. Right beside the white. Why not? And then I take... Ooh, what palette? This one. This bad boy and Blue Moon. Initially on my finger. Because I'm actually going to cover this up with something much bolder. But this is a good base. Oh, I can't be doing makeup when I'm in this state. It just never works. Next glitter glue. Then, Pastel Roses Pony. Oh, mummy. What? That's stunning. It's pink, it's purple, it's blue. What else is it? It's just stunning. My goodness. Well, I'm going to blend that a little bit better, but I also need to blend the outer corner. I'll use a wee bit of blackberry. Pat it on the edge, hope for the best. That was the wrong shade, Melissa. And I just wiped that brush on a wet thing. This is a disaster. I'm going to take eyeliner. This be KVD. Tattoo liner. Just found it in my pot. You hear how noisy it is outside? Like, shut up. This liner's like, absolutely not. I am not covering all this up. It's a good eyeliner, it's just getting a bit clunged up. Not clunged up. No, that's not the right way to put it. It's getting clogged. That'll do, donkey! Uh, oh, I went round with an OPV metal and liquid glitter. The only thing is, it doesn't have a number on it, so I can't tell you what it is. I'll find it and link it. It's a very pale one. It's just pale and and shimmery, you know. Where are we? Are we just on the, like the gems and stuff? I guess so. Oh wait, I'll fill in my brow with brown, and then we'll come and make it colourful. Two seconds. I just realised I wasn't filming. I put brown on and then I'm just using a purple eyeliner just to kind of add some colour to that and then I'm just going to take some of the eyeshadows that I used put them on and I'm going to ombre it so I've got like blackberry at the back which is the darkest purple just and it's just like filling in your eyebrow with anything really I feel like brows look quite blocky when you put colours through them because you can't really, you don't really have a way of making it look more natural or at least I don't so they're a bit more on the blocky side but I don't mind. Well that's the purple brow, I think it's going to make sense as we progress, right, to totally jazz this up even more. I've got some face lace so my friend and sausage Kristen sent me these. She's incredible. I will link her below as well. And uh, they're like little face stickers. I'm sure a lot of you will have seen them and maybe even used them before, but it's my first time. Oh, and I love the effect. It's so cool. So you literally just stick them on. I would like to get these even though. So that looks about right. Like you don't need glue or anything. They just stick on. It's kind of stuck to my finger. It was definitely stuck to my thumb. <laughs> and it says they're reusable. So I guess as long as you just take them off gently enough, you can reuse them. Like that. Oh, how cool is that? It is so cool. Just how it reflects. Like, it looks so cool. And they're always going to look symmetrical, pretty much, because they're matching stickers. It's not you, like, trying to draw it. You know what I mean? <gasps> That's cool. Right, now I'm going to put some gems on because... Just can't help myself. I put a bigger one here. 
this is lash glue and she also sent me these like gem picker pencils and wow absolutely changes the game this is like I guess wax or silicon or something you should, I just sharpened it and now I can pick up these gems so easily I think I put three big ones on that side yeah I did Oh, that's not even sitting on any glue. It's kind of the same shape. And once again, I do take them off uh, really gently so I can reuse them. I can see this one's a bit higher up, but I just don't care. I'll take a picture from the side. And everyone was so nice to me in that video where I was trying to recreate the Stacey Marie look, saying I was too hard on myself. So I'm going to take that advice, and I'm not going to be so hard on myself if they don't quite match. I am going to be hard on that boy racer that won't shut up outside the window he's not giving me a break he's making me mad uh, the under eye is very simple i'm just gonna blend it out with some purple and black but i did take it a bit too low here like listen to his crappy engine in his crappy little car everyone knows what those stupid engines mean about the size of your canoe yeah, I'm going to throw my base on and then we'll come back and do the lashes because they are also colourful lashes as you'll see in the intro unless I take my makeup off for the intro and then this will all be a big shock. Uh, yeah, I'm going to go put my base on though because there's no way I'm including that in this because this video will be too long and then we'll come back and do the fun lashes and maybe add more face lace, maybe add more gems, maybe add glitter, who knows, the world is our oyster. All I did with my base and then put purple on my lower lash line, which was really boring, so I didn't film it. So I took my Be Perfect lashes in the style, is it just Tahiti Lash? That's what it says inside. And I painted them, first of all, with ColourPop Gel Liner um, in the shade Flowerful, just as a base for some of the eyeshadow to stick on top of. I just used a purple from the palette. Um, I guess this is how people make colourful lashes. I don't really know. I don't do it often and I also picked a pair of lashes that I like but I'm not like overly precious about because um yeah I didn't want to like ruin like a favourite pair but I'm sure actually this will just wash off with like a good clean so should be fine. It's just a mucky job. <laughs> like even holding them, I'm just getting eyeshadow all over my fingeroos. I know you can get colourful lashes, but considering how little I would actually ever wear them, it just seemed the right thing to do to just paint them myself. So it is it is a cool look how they like match in with like the eyeshadow and the like brows and stuff. Shut up. Only thing is, obviously the lash looks super obvious against the black eyeliner but you could put colourful eyeliner on to match it or just live with it. That's what I'm gonna do. I am nearly done. I think I just need to go put a lip on and fix my hair. Like the lashes are cool with the brows aren't they? Ah! Right I'm gonna go put a uh, lip on. Take off all the foundation on my lips because it's not very sexy is it? Although my natural state is obviously super sexy. And then we'll be done. We're just gonna accept the hair the way it decided to dry, to be honest. Don't think it looks that bad, but it doesn't look good. But it doesn't look that bad. Anyway, we're finished. Leanne did big nude glossy DSLs. So that's what I've also finished with. I have a lot of pink blush on. I feel like I put so much on and it's not really showing on camera, but I put a lot of pink blush on and we're done. We're done. The cats have abandoned their shelf. We're done. I love this look. There's a few issues I'm having like my lash band looks so bad on both eyes because it's just so obviously bright purple against black and it's just not like rounded to the eye shape. You know what I mean? Like that looks bad. They don't entirely match but I just don't care because I love it. And uh, once again go check out Leanne. Her work is incredible. All of her socials are linked below. And that's going to be it for me today. We've calmed down a bit. You can probably tell throughout the video my calmness levels have 
come back. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below. Tell me what you want to see next. And subscribe if you haven't already. Three videos a week. And I'm live every Wednesday for my sausages. Or my patrons. The link to join is down below. There's a cat doing a turd right now. Ah, it's his house too. What can you do? I'm going to piss off. Have a lovely day. And I hope we'll catch you on the flip side. Bye!